Hey guys, it's Joe again. Welcome uh, to my channel. Again, I just do this for fun. Um, this is more like a new person trying to ask questions and hopefully given my uh, learning experiences to help other new people. Um, if Definitely I'm not the expert on this. I just tell people that if you have any questions, go to the forums like uh, Dental Lasers or the X1, uh, Xtool D1 forums. Uh, you're going to find experts there that can really give you good answers. But anyway, I posted something a few days ago about if you have what to do if you have a DXS file, DXF file or SVG file that doesn't have separate layers. And you need to separate those and to turn them into something that is usable for you. So um, I posted that. I don't know if I was very good in how I posted my question and uh, what I did. So I thought I'd make a quick video on how I did it. Um, basically, this is the end result. It's a C-130, um, slick C-130, awesome aircraft, by the way. Um, I downloaded this as a DXF file. It just had one layer. Um, so I wanted to make sure I can cut it and do it the way I wanted it. So um, I'm going to hook up my computer here in a moment, and I'm going to show you how I did that in Lightburn. And um, if there's a faster way of doing this, let me know. Um, if uh, you like what I did, just let me know as well. Um, you can do likes or subscribe. It's really up to you. I don't make any money off of this. Um, but um, just give me a second while I get my computer set up here, and then what we'll do is we'll dive in, and um, I'll show you how I did this in Lightburn. Okay, so this is how I have been handling DXF, DXF files that do not have separate layers. Um, so I'm going to open up the import, the file, which is a C-130, which is a great aircraft, by the way, who's ever been in the military or ever seen those. Okay, so... <clears throat> This is a problem that I normally see here is that um, you just have one layer. Um, unless it's something I don't know, I don't know how I can cut this and engrave it and do it the way I want without doing separate layers. So I found out the best way to do this is to just start separating things. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select. Uh, the what it looks like to be the outlines and just to make sure that they are the outlines I just move it around because <laughs> this is what I'm going to cut with okay so just um, we'll just undo the move they're still selected now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this as a cut layer, which I normally use as, um, I already have this set up for number 10 in my palette here. So those will be those. Um, then what we're going to do is just, um, let's see, zoom in a little bit here. Select a few more. By the way, I got lots of jumps out of these aircraft. Uh, the ones I normally jumped out of were MC series, uh, which is used by mostly the Special Operations Command. Um, they were the Talons and Shadows. Um, I believe only the Shadows are still flying because they went to what they call the J model, which took a, which is a multi-role airplane. So again, select the palette that I want. Move this up here, and just a couple more to do. So I'm not going to go through each one, but you can see what I've done right now. So the next thing I'm going to do is I want to have a separate layer for these little cut sections right here. The reason is I want these to be cut out before the profile does. So I'm going to select these again um, individually. 
Yeah, I mean, do, um, you know, everybody that's worked with Windows knows what I'm doing here. I'm using the shift key to do multiple selections. Um, again, just make sure I only got what I wanted. <laughs> and I'm going to use, uh, on my, I already, I have these set up here right now. So 14 is my palette for that. What, what I want to use for those, okay? Because I want to have a different layer for those. Um, and I'm going to do that for the rest of these, but I just want to show you the process. Now, what I want to do is make sure these are arranged correctly. Um, I want to have my engraving first. So everything's black, it's going to be the engravings. And then uh, the next thing I want to do is cut out the little, the little holes, the little squares. And the last thing I want to do is have the profile cut out. So I have that last. And I already have these set up the way I want. I actually normally have this about 200, which is fine. Um, but set up whatever, what's good for your machine, what you're using. I know a lot of you guys got the 20 watts in right now. So I hope those are working out good for you guys. I'm looking forward to mine. Probably won't get that to Christmas, but that's fine. I enjoy doing this the way it is. So that's basically how I've been doing, separating, getting a DXF file that has no layers and turning it into separate layers, and it just makes it easy for me. Um, the end file result looks like this. So that's the final result I have. So hopefully this explains what my post was about and my process on how to get DXF files with only one layer and turn them into the layers that I need, um, you know, to get the you know to get the final result I want. Well, thanks for listening, guys. Um, you guys have a great one. I'll see you guys on the forum. God bless. Bye. Okay, so let's see how this came out. Um, you see how I did the different cuts and everything? And here's a close-up of the settings. And let's see how it looks. Okay, looks like it cut through. And I'll do a follow-up with it all completed. Okay, let's see how it looks after I just picked up the piece of wood. It looks like everything cut through in all the places I wanted it to cut. Pretty happy so far.